just watching from the last four years we were watching TV that you felt like politics was just either either you were right or wrong. So there wasn't where people coming together at a table and people discussing issues that were really important to you. I think now I've understood that just because you come from different aisles, that how you communicate and how much relationship you do building and networking, that you can make a difference. And even sometimes maybe to convince the other person on the other side to come along with you, but that you just have to remember that there has to be patience and you have to be able to build trust. You know, when I started at Maple, I was I had the opportunity to learn from mentors and leaders that showed me what this work looked like in the community. These are community-based leaders who really value how important it is to work together and that we are our network. And without their modeling of that behavior, I don't know that I would have been where I am. Uh, I didn't have that growing up. I grew up in poverty in a trailer park and my parents barely could make ends meet. And so I didn't grow up thinking I was going to become a politician, let alone have, have a graduate degree. And so coming to the program just showed me that there is a community that's dedicated to doing the work that we need and to creating the change that we want to see in the world. I'm a generational survivor, and so my mother was a domestic violence survivor, and then I'm also a survivor, and then my, ch my child is also a survivor. And so uh, one of the things that I always questioned was like, why, why do these con things continue to happen to, to us as a community or to people, and what do we do to make it stop? I think there came a point in my life where I was like, I can't just keep waiting for someone to make these changes, and I have to be that person to, to make those changes, whether I like it or not. After graduating my undergraduate, I did domestic violence and sexual violence victim advocacy work in the Hmong community specifically. And so then um, through that process, I've, I learned that um, there's so many larger barriers and disparities into helping uh, the Hmong community. And so I decided that I wanted to continue to pursue my education and to get better analysis on um, how these policies are being made and then how do I go in and change them. This is my freshman year in the legislature and the MAPL skills that I have, I'm applying every single day. You know, when I'm listening to testimony, when I'm asking questions, it's making sure that we're doing so in a way that when people go back and watch these videos in 50 years, they know what we stand for. They know what's important to us. And every time I testify underneath my name, it says Metro State University. And it just makes me so proud <laughs> to see that there because these are the skills that uh, Metro is sending out into the world and into Minnesota politics and so many other fields. One thing that I can say about this program and I can continue saying it is that I have grown as a person. When I came to this program, I was seeing things through a tunnel vision and now I'm able to see it broadly.